Happy birthday, dear Mitchell Touchy, is it? It says here that it's your birthday. You managed to get both of my three names wrong, Doc. <laughs> and if you weren't paying attention, it's also the first anniversary of me moving to Vancouver. And I was supposed to be performing today and getting paid for it. Does this little fucking clipboard tell you how broke I am, too? So you do poetry. Do you think you can maybe do a poem for us? Fuck no! Yeah, I can. Matter of fact, I just got some new shit for you. I just wrote this poem in the bathroom. The dude pissing at the urinal didn't give a fuck. He let his farts rip loud and proud in all of its brown and liberated glory, and I envy him. Because when I shat myself out there a few weeks ago in a fat burger, they humiliated me. At the time, I had wicked bad insomnia, being as broke as I was, wasn't careful with what I put inside me. And I wrote these poems on the same day. And the people at the bus stop were pissing themselves, thinking, Wow! He's really letting his shit go. But they weren't sure if they envied me or not. At the time, it was hard to sleep, being as broken as I was, wasn't careful with all I kept inside me. So now I'm sitting in my stall. A sacred privy as I'm blessing it with my deepest confessions, and a haiku on the wall. Psych Ward Arts and Crafts, painted on the porcelain, is my self-portrait. Questioning why I can't be that person at the urinal, why I've been trading my whole life to let shit go silently when we all fucking do it, and we need to fucking do it. Like the great Biff Naked Envy. I shit myself today, not like yesterday. I shit myself. I'm gonna be okay. Right, Doc? Your little, your little sheet there tell you I'm gonna be alright? Does that mean y'all put the ass in gaslighting and I hate it when motherfuckers say I did shit I didn't? And I hate it that y'all keep teaching me the bottle shit when I'm the chocolate fountain. And I'm sick of poetry teaching me how to love. Teach me how to shit myself. Teach me how to be ugly, because we are all ugly, and some of us just forgot how to be, and we forgot how to let people be. And we better get to it, because projections say that emotional bidet supplies are dwindling, and judging by how much I miss fucking fun, we need to remember how to be human amongst filthy humans. Yeah. To sip the tip, to tip the sacred cow. To 69 a unicorn. To stop and stomp the roses. To appreciate the little things. Plant your biggest, most beautiful smiles into mud cakes and face wash your grumpy cousin with it. Yeah. And when colonialism isn't looking or is looking too hard at your badass indigenous selves, strike a 1492 pose and hug each other tighter than appropriated headdresses ties to loose morals. And lay down in the fields of shit and make shit angels. Yeah. Spend some time there and you'll forget to ask what makes a poet because in the vacuum of our lost indigenous souls, a 500 year long morning on our darkened horizons, you are the light of my solace system. And of all the Hiawatha, Sitchkoa, Zacchaeus, Jackson, Dawes, Dwells, Rex, Small Boys, Chief, Dan, Georges, me and you are them, they are you. You are all infinite fucking stars within yourself. And the sooner we return to it, the better. Because when you shit in the woods, you don't need to flush. <laughs>